The Drifter Cavern is a little dungeon found within the Glacial Trail. It can have six to eight uniques and champions. The Glacial Trail is also a level 83 area and accommodates seven and nine uniques and champions. You're bound to hit a few on your way and I recommend clearing it just like in the Ancient's Way on the way to the Icy Cellar. First up was a Razor Tail, a good belt for Amazons to help guarantee a powerful piercing attack. One of three elite unique spears of Ipafork. Basically the only set amulet that we care about, Tal's Adjudication. Just like the Icy Cellar, a champion pack is found at the entrance to the cavern, and here they drop some Grave Palms. This is three Oculuses, or Oculi maybe, in the past two days. I'm never scared of that chance to cast a teleport either. Like most level 85 areas, there is a chest down there as well, and out pops this Mal Rune. The Treasure Class 84 set piece if you're in the mood to wear a skull as a hat. I don't get tired of finding perfect life small charms, as long as it's not a plus one to strength, I'm for it. The ring that is better than most, but worse than some. I was enjoying some old school vibes when our favorite magic find belt appeared. Two tail set pieces in 100 runs isn't too shabby. 35 resistance Viper Magi's just aren't my thing, and this one is no different. It's always exciting to see this drop until you pick it up and it's not ethereal, but this isn't the worst roll I've had. I'm still on my mid-tier rune only escapade, but I can sense the high rune materializing soon. I guess you could strike some heads with this. The rarest, exceptionally unique one-hander, a head striker. This one was just a nice change of pace for me. I find all the other exceptional unique armors more often, but I haven't seen the unique mage plate in a while. I just wanted to include it because it's the best and most ungenerously named item around, and the Shago's little brother. I just appreciate all things ethereal, and if any necros are wielding this thing, I commend you. I'll be back with the Swampy Pits next, which is the best upgraded area level in this patch so far, in my opinion. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it.